Right, so... As you can see, I'm on the folding bike. Now, if you follow me on the Instagram, follow me on Instagram, you'll see me, I put up a post about this. This folding bike, yeah, it's kind of a piece of junk. I don't use it for any serious cycling. <clears throat> I use it just for going on very short. I see camping demonstration videos because I like to go to just little local woods I can hide in. There's a freight train rumbling pipe by. I doubt if you can see that, but. The GoPro doesn't zoom in at all. If you do, if you couldn't see that train, it was a, a Class 66 pulling a load of tankers. And I do believe that is a train that comes from Immingham, something at Immingham docks. And it goes to where basically where Ian lives, like a, a yard at Walsall stops there and I think it when it goes some to some gas place. Yeah. Anyway I'm gonna gonna can I'm crossing the viaduct to take a shortcut and it's a nice view see now this is only going to be on this channel. I'm going to go and test a hammock and tap. And I've got something else to test. Might be a bit hot, but I've got like a, kind of like a blanket was designed to, it's like a hammock cocoon. And some of the kit I've got is not any popular brands because I just buy cheap stuff off Amazon but you don't want anything too cheap because it could fail. <clears throat> so I'm going to put the camera away and and find somewhere to go. I may try out a couple of places. I would rather go somewhere it's quiet, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Now I'm going down the steps. There are some lovely looking kind of fields there. But there's another one of them places where a lot of chavs come around this area. So I don't know if I'd camp, but we're going a bit further away. And we try a couple of places. If you remember, I did a video where I put a tent up and there's like a great little wood and there was like a there's this brilliant spot for putting a tent up and I snuck in there and there was actually probably a homeless person had a tent on that spot so I just you know went anyway we'll move on So we're on like a wooded trail but we're not far from like an, in, there's like an industrial area over there. And there's a bit of a wood here and there's one up there. We've been up, there's videos on the old, old channel that are probably long deleted. 
what was filmed up here. I may try and go through this gap. I'm in a tarp, we've got the camo, so I think we'll be all right. Right, so you can hear a bit of traffic noise. That's something I normally can't stand. I do think what all these stealth camping videos where they, people camp near roads are probably fake, because to me it's just an awful noise. I mean, we like trying to think of a type of music where you can't stand and try and imagine camping at a festival in the, like during the daytime, sleeping during the daytime while that type of music's on loud. Another point, yeah, I'm in the woods. There's a field over there which... No, there, there was a video I filmed in that field. It's gone because it was on a channel that I deleted. It was, just, it was there some gypsies, some gypsies like stayed in there and they left all their rubbish. Like, and I filmed it. <clears throat> so the path is over there, but I chose this spot because we got a lot of cover. As I was, I was st as I was coming in, I was up near the path. I saw a cyclist, but I don't think he either ignored me or he didn't see me. Now, the problems with hammock camping, you've got to find the right trees. I put a lot, a lot of like hammock fanboy channels don't show how long they search for the right trees. Now, I was thinking about this one and this one here. But there's also a couple of options here. Maybe this and one over there. These might be too far apart, but I'll try and make it work. I'm going to take the rucksack off. Right, so I've got the Outkit Gordon 25 litre rucksack. As you know, I've got a 30 litre one of these. These are fantastic. I'm going to just quickly show you what kit we've got. No, I don't, I'm not going to show you bloody as mosquitoes in my ears. I don't want this video to become super long because editing it just gets a pain in the ass. Well, this is a tarp I found on Amazon. It's a Pacific cat to be used for hammock camping. You could use it for Bivian. Some fanboys of other brands probably won't like it. it you know, it probably isn't perfect. The inside of it's like silver. I think it's meant to reflect heat, but I don't know. We've got a ground sheet in there. We've got our, our DD hammock, standard hammock, and kind of like the hammock cocoon. So, I don't really need to, but I'm going to clear the ground a bit. I'll probably put the, the tarp up first. Right, so we're back. It's been a while because it actually, it takes a while to get 
the tap right as it's a brand new tap I was putting the guy ropes on the, the, the ones that actually came with it they're orange which some people may up say oh you need to change them maybe I will but one thing I think I think they're kind of probably too long for what they need to be it did actually come with six I haven't I'm probably going to put the other two on yeah what like a lot of hammock fanboys probably don't want you to know is it could actually take a while to set these things up because if you don't get them reasonably perfect it can cause you problems later on I mean you should know I like normally camping in bivvies small lightweight tents and I mean I've got a nut there's a bivvy what Ian's got I'm not going to say what it is yet but I've actually now got one I will be doing a camp soon with Ian and I think I'm not sure whether it will be on this channel it may be on the I might put it on the other channel because the other channel is really meant to be a cycling channel and this one's more the, the camping focus channel yeah this side's not great because I had to get this around the tree but it does work yeah I think this you know tarp is good enough it's quite big gives you a lot of good coverage <clears throat> I mean I thought this silver I had this idea this silver would be really bright but it isn't though I could have got this higher but the hammock will sag down once I get it get in it I, mean, I really should do a comparison compared with lightweight bivvies compared with hammock and tap they both have a pros and cons you can see the there are flat spaces I mean but the ground's not flat here and but that doesn't matter with a hammock whatsoever see that there are some flat spots in and there's a flat spot sort of over there I could have had the bivvy I could have a bivvy like ready extremely quickly compared with putting with this tarp up right so now I'm going to get the the hammock out and there are mosquitoes flying about so right so the hammock is in it's not bad I have got because it's a DD hammock I've got the DD tree huggers I think they came from DD and I've got the the whoopee slings which are fun which I highly recommend now obviously it's a bit dark Andrew this is a mosquito in it I may push it out the way to try the the hammock cocoon I've got this is what I keep the hammock in it's a DD Bishop bag 
And I think that's a great. I, on my very old original videos, well, probably long deleted, I had this torch and it still works. So we're going to use this. We don't really need it, but it's kind of nice. I did have a decathlon one, but it stopped working. I may try and fix it now. Obviously, this is going to sag down a bit when we get in it. I'm not too fast. Now, if I wanted, to, I doubt anyone's going to come in here. It's a bit noisy, but I won't be surprised if Ian wants to know, once Ian sees if he wants to come here for a camp, it could be done. But I think it will take a while at night before the road goes quiet. So if I wanted to, I could have put the bike I could technically could have a bike underneath if I wanted to. Now this mosquito net and you can undo that so I should be able to slide it to one side. Possibly, I should be able to. See there's mosquitoes flying around. Because I'm not, I'm not totally sure if the hammock cocoon will work with this on it. May do. So I'm going to try and pull this to one side. I'll bring you back. It'd be lovely if it wasn't for the the road noise. Now, I think the other spot I may have gone in, what I've been in before, probably would have been a bit more noisier because it's right near one of the roundabouts. So obviously you get all the traffic stopping and revving up for when the lights change and Yeah, I had a little lay down. It's quite pleasant, this is. As you can see, I put the... I didn't really need to, but I put the bike underneath. So it's kind of hidden by the camouflage. <coughs> I've got my DD bottle there. Had that ages. Got coffee in it. May have a bit of that. Let's try and get in the hammock. The literally there's mosquitoes trying to get in my face. That's why I got glad I got the mosquito in that. Bit awkward. There's a ridge line in there. Obviously the ridge line. I mean, actually the ridge line's pretty, like, correct tightness, is to hold the mosquito net up. I've got, still got my crappy shoes on.
Yeah, the, it's. I'm just moving the pocket along a bit so it's not in my face. You hope that will keep them. This mosquito net, you can tighten it up at the bottom. Hope, hopefully it'll keep the damn things out. You can see the bike there. I've got my spare phone in this pocket. It comes with a mosquito net. I think you can buy them separately. I mean, I'm sure some people might not like this being so close to your face. I mean, you could not bother with it. But a lot of the hammocks come with mosquito nets. I think this mosquito net is part of the super light range. It's, it does work with other hammocks, but it's meant to be used with a super light hammock. I mean, I've got a super light tarp, which is brilliant. I may buy the super light hammock and I may do a bicycle tour or a hammock camp, but you have to plan where you're going to sleep. But there's a tour I like doing where I know I can get to woods, so there'll be plenty of trees and cover. You know, it's been a long time since I've done a a chill out in a hammock. Some people used to love watching them. I think we're going to turn the GoPro off because the battery is going on to yellow. I might try and have a sleep. I've got plenty of time. So I'll catch you later. Right. As you can see, I've slid the mosquito net off just to try the hammock cocoon. I can't remember what brand it is. It's not one of the famous brands, but I think it'll be okay. I mean, I don't watch any mosquitoes going in my face. I don't watch a lot of the camping channels. I bet people think I do, but I don't. I got the idea for this hammock cocoon off a a channel called I'm trying to think how you pronounce his name. It's pronounced um, shy, but I think you spell it S H E I Y. And he's like, he does a lot of traveling around on foot, freight hopping. And he did, he recently did videos where he was riding a bike, but he did a video, there's a video where he's freight hopping. And he has to camp in like some, just outside some villages and he's, using a hammock and and he's got this hammock cocoon because it's like winter where he is and I thought I'm going to buy one of them but right you, have you been watching my videos since the early days on the old channel You'll probably remember this. I got inspired to buy this by Funky Prepper. A lot of people said it was a piece of shit, but it actually still works all these years later. 
we will plug the GoPro in to get some charge so there's still mosquitoes I'm gonna get this hammock cocoon thing on hopefully this guy rope won't have any effect on it I'll bring you back in a bit so trying to work out how this goes obviously the hammock's longer than this which well so somehow it's got a zip along it and you basically get in the hammock and zip it over you so I may have to take my shoes off I did bring a ground sheet like we used to in the old days I don't even need to spread it entirely out so I'll probably try and get into it I kind of, I haven't opened this before I was kind of expecting it to be a bit longer but you know you can pull it out a bit Obviously, you, you do these ends up, they're not completely tight, so I think there's a way you can tie these up if you wanted to. Well, I'm going to attempt to get into it. <coughs> right, so... I've sort of got it, and I'm... So you get in, and you do the zip up as much as you feel like it well it is worth buying if you can find one it's up to you Yes, he's sort of meant to have it up above your head. And you can do the zip up as much as you feel like it. It does make the feet end feel a, a bit more restricted, but I see we get used to it. I mean, I don't know what warm it is. I have to try it out in the winter. I mean, you could use an extra sleeping bag or some kind of blanket. Remember, it's not really cold weather at the moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just chill out for a while and then come back well it's had a bit of a chill out for a while obviously there's a gap up this end and because of the way the hammock spreads out you can't really close that gap up and I notice there's mosquitoes trying to come through it so anyway I think this would be excellent yeah if you can see me waving my arms around because there's mosquitoes I have got some repellent at home but Oh, I can see him trying to 
get on me everywhere. I'm going to have to get packed up. In a mosquito repellent, like, packed up on the touring bike kit. Because we're going to be using that soon, as I probably said. Yeah, I think this could be great in colder weather. So I'm going to get turned off, pack everything up and ride home a different route. So we're getting packed up. It's pretty simple with that DD Bishop bag etc this looks quite dark up there I mean I was ho I was hoping it would rain sort of while I was in the hammock but if you leave a if you leave a comment asking we'll try and come out another time and camp in the well, well day camp in the rain we may do it overnight, but it'll be on this channel. This is a pretty good place, just I don't know if you can hear it on there with a GoPro microphone because it's a bit limited. But I can hear I can hear like bassy music and cars and everything. But without that, I think this place would be lovely. So I'm gonna get the tarp. I mean, it will. I won't be surprised if it starts raining as soon as I've packed up and ready to go. But whatever, you know. It's been a long time since I've done anything like this. I used to love doing stuff like this, and my life got changed and. A lot of people still don't understand that. Like I've been, I've been in a different job for coming up to two years, and there's and if I hadn't have got that job, I, I I don't know what could I could, could have been in some serious trouble. I certainly wouldn't. I've been still been doing YouTube videos because I. I probably would have gone into poverty and possibly be, had to become homeless. So I hope people understand, like, just like anyone else, well, I have to work, I'm a normal person. You get people who do understand what I'm normal like anyone else, but there's people who, who like, they, like, struggle to understand it. So anyway, I'm going to finish packing this up I'll come back soon Right, so we just came out of them woods and we're going to get going I'm not going to film anymore because I don't know how long this video will end up I'll probably try and cut it as short as I can but you always find out who your real fans are when the video is a bit long you know, did for those who don't know, YouTube's got all these behind the scenes um, and and a, and a lat I can't pronounce a bloody word. Let's just say statistics, and you can see like how long people watch the videos. And normally it will say like four minutes. I mean, people who watch the four minutes, they they you know they're not real fans. That's what I say. If you you know, watched all the way through the video, let us know in the comments. Let, uh, well, we'll see you later. I can hear that damn bass music. Whatever it is. Oh wait, we'll catch you soon.